today we have two-time Dove Award winning, stellar award nominee. Y'all already know who it is. Let's give it up for our boy Aaron Cole, man. How you doing today? Yes, sir, my man. How you doing? I'm doing good. Awesome, man. Glad to have you on, man. Glad you had time to stop in. So let's get into it, man. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah. What brings you here today, man? I know you got some cooking up in the streets, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> for sure. Um, I just, I'm about to release my album. Uh, sorry, I changed. It's my third album. Uh, first album with uh Sony RCA, Provident Records. Um, first major label release. So I'm excited, man. It's 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 gonna be super crazy. We we um we just dropped all the singles. Um, so we looking to drop the album April 26th. So I'm excited, man. So uh, let's backtrack. So this is a new label venture, right? Let's talk about yeah. that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so towards the end of last year, um, I kind of ended my contract uh, with Gucci Records. Um, I fulfilled my contract. And it was kind of like the floodgates just opened. Like I was <clears throat> just open to doing whatever God wanted me to do in that season. And so I met with a lot of people and uh, I just felt like RCA was kind of like the best decision for me um, with my boy Ron Hill. And man, it's been, it's been super dope, man. I loved it. Um, I'm loving this new season and uh, yeah, bro, it's been, it's been super fire. Dope, man. I'm excited for you. So uh, a lot's changed. A lot's been going on in your life since your last drop, man. And um. Let's talk about that. You know, let's unpack where Aaron Cole is today going into this project and what the fans should expect. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, so the album is called Sorry I Changed. So it's funny that you said change. Um, but it's just been a, a lot of changes in my life um, recently. We just talked about the label situation. Um, I was with Gutsy Records since I was 15, 16 years old. Um, so being with them for almost, what, seven years or something like that was it's a big change going to somewhere else, like, um, in my professional career. Um, it's my first album, Married. Um, it's my first album, a homeowner. Like, all the things. There's so many, like, just small changes in my life that's on the, I won't say generic, but on the basic level. Um, but then I feel like one thing that God was showing me is just, like, real life changes you. Um, so these past few years, I've been just going through a lot of real life situations and losing family members and you know what I'm saying? Losing business relationships, losing friendships, um, things like that that just kind of grow you and take you to a new level. Um, and then obviously it's it's the, the third layer is like it's the gospel too. Like once you come to know God and once you, you know what I'm saying, give God your life, <clears throat> it's a lot of things that go on that you feel like you can't do anymore. It's a lot of people that you chill with that you feel like you can't chill with anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's some, it's some remorse there. So um, it's like, sorry. But I changed. I can't do the things I used to do. I can't even with yourself, like talking to yourself. It's like, man, talking to myself and knowing that I can't do some of the things that, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy to do, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to go to the next level because you can't go to the next level um, without some change. It's all throughout the Bible. So, um, yeah, man, that's the that's the whole concept. That's the whole goal. And so I'm super excited. I want it to be a movement of just people feeling like, man, like, <clears throat> no, nah, I've changed. Sorry, I changed. I can't. I can't do those things anymore. So, yeah. Super dope, man. Super dope. So that even, uh, you even display that in your artwork. So explain that concept behind, you know, you you sitting on the clothes. It makes me yeah. think of my son's closet, actually. But <laughs> concept of you sitting on the clothes. <laughs> uh, no, that's funny. Yeah, so, uh, man, I love the cover art. Uh, it was super important. So my pops, a lot of people know my pops. He's been super involved in my career. And anytime he would, like, I would do something big, like, far as, like, an album cover, uh, a photo shoot, a, you know what I'm saying, a war performance, he'd be like, give me, like, let me get them clothes, like, da 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 Like, it, it was kind of like a joke with us, because um, I'd be like, nah, I want to wear it again kind of vibe, but I kind of never did. And so we came to this um, shoot with the new label. We kind of had this concept and had this idea, and he had all the, like, all the clothes that I have from beginning of my career so we talking about <clears throat> before I was even like a known artist he had all those clothes so all the clothes that you see me sitting on is from like my whole career and some of the pieces that you see kind of in the front I got my my jacket from 
not by chance. I got my jacket from two of two down cover. Um, my double war performance, like you can kind of see those if you like really paying attention into the the tables turn video and the album cover. So yeah, I think it was just really man important to you know what I'm saying, show the change. Like a lot of people that know me, it's a lot of people that don't know me, but a lot of people that know me kind of been been around and seen the things that I've got to do as a young boy. And so um, just showing that change and do, showing it in a different way, um, I feel like it was a cool thing to do. And so, yeah, I, I love the cover bus, man. People are starting to catch on day by day. So I really love it, man. Um, yeah. That's fire, man. That's fire. So speaking of sorry, I changed like, in depth with the concept, we can hear the growth in the project. Like I gotta say, I gotta say, like this project has no skips. Thank you, so, bro. Let's talk about. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, how, did man, how do I love it coming about? So I did. So with this album, I did um, a writing camp um, where I went, I just kind of cooked up with a couple of my friends. We like locked in a house and we made some songs. And this was this was on the first day. This was like the second song that we made was I Love It. Um, shout out to 95, um, produced by 95. He he just cooked up the beat. And I got that that I love it pretty quick. Um, and we just kind of started piecing it together. Um, and it's just talking about loving life, man. Um, through the good, through the bad, through the ugly, like. Just lo loving everything that comes with life because you can easily hear the song and just be like, oh, yeah, he's just talking about how his life's so great or whatever. But if you really like get into the depth of the album, you realize like, now nah, I've been through a lot of stuff these past two years. <clears throat> but, you know, what I'm saying coming to know God is knowing that, you know, what I'm saying there's joy. You know, what I'm saying there's joy when you have a relationship with God and knowing that God has everything under control is like it's a it's an undescribable piece of joy. You know what I'm saying? That comes with that. Um, and I feel like God just showed me, man, like with the whole, sorry, I changed concept. It's like, in order to meet God's standard, I can't meet everybody else's standard. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to my life and stuff like that. And so <clears throat> I just really been honing into that. Like, man, sorry, I changed. I love my life. It's, you know what I'm saying? Everything good over here just because, you know what I'm saying? I got God as my Lord and Savior. And so, um, yeah, I love it. It's kind of been going crazy lately. It's, it's becoming one of my top songs in my career for sure. So, <laughs> Yeah, I could definitely see it, man. That's that's a banger right there. That's a banger. So I was even Appreciate peeping on um on some of your social media, like how you rolled out the uh the ice cream spot. Yeah, yeah, Cold yeah. Stone. Cold yeah Stone. Shout tell, tell us about that, man. That was dope. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the team, um, RCA with that. Um, yeah, we got to partner with Cold Stone, and so I pulled up and you know what I'm saying was able to give like the first fifty or something people to like free ice cream. I had my my whole face on the I love it uh, size. It was super fire, man. It was playing an album in the store. And so, yeah, that was super crazy, man. It was super dope. You know, they got the whole I love it size when, the, when you go to Cold Stone. So um, the team that had the idea to do that, and it was super fire, bro. I, I loved it. Dope, dope. No pun intended. <laughs> man, let's talk about this latest single that's killing right now. Yeah. The streets that's going crazy, man. Got the island vibe. After yeah, that, like talk yeah. about that, man. Like the proof joint. That's bananas, man. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, so proof, yeah. If you listen to the album, it's a it's a song right before it called What It's Like. And I was just kind of talking about <clears throat> the everything that was going on in my life at the time, like in the past two or three years, it's it's been a lot of crazy stuff happening in my life, as far as like family situations and um personal situations, whatever it may be. Like I lost my grandma, um, my parents been on and off. Like if you listen to my music, you kind of, you kind of heard about that. And uh, like going into, going into that season, um, it was like right after I had like a family meeting or something like that. I was with one of my friends and he was like, man, it was a, it was a good day today. And I was like, man, what? Like, it was a crazy day. Like <laughs> all this stuff happening in my life. He was just like, nah, you got to look at it a different perspective. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you got here safely. You know what I'm saying? Your your family is good. Like whatever, whatever it may be, like you got to look at it from a different side. And so it just kind of got my mind going and it really was speaking to me. I feel like God was showing me like, man, why do I worry so much <clears throat> when I know 
that God is going to come through every time because he's proven it over and over again. Like if we honestly think about some of the craziest stuff that happened in our life, even if it's in this season, past season, whatever, it's like if you look at it, you're on the other side of that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so many things that you got through that you didn't think that you would get through. And that's because of God and him proving that he got you no matter what. Like he never he never promised that we wouldn't go through things. But he did promise that he'll be with us in it. And so <clears throat> I feel like I just kind of honed in on that. And I was just like, man, I don't need to see any more proof to know what God can do. And so it's, just, it's a fun song, man. It's an upbeat song. And yeah, people are loving it right now. So I, I love that. Yeah, that's definitely a summer banger. That's going yeah. crazy right now. And I, I see you did the release for the YouTube performance video, too, man. That's dope. No, nah, I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it for sure. So uh, sorry about your loss, too, man. So we can hear the different emotions in the project. You, you got us vibing, dancing. You, you got the bars. Mm, what's the overall message that you want fans to take away from this project compared to all your previous projects? What's the takeaway that you really want them to take home with this one? Yeah, um, I think one of my past project, it was kind of just setting the foundation of you know what I'm saying? My story, like I was, you know what I'm saying? Pretty young. I was having fun. I was figuring out my sound and the whole nine. But I feel like with this one, it's it's kind of different. Like I'm really talking about my story in a different way and, you know, my relationship with God in a different way. It's like, it's a lot of times where <clears throat> I feel like when you first get to know God, it's like everything is fine and dandy you feel like everything is good and you know what i'm saying when that first thing that something crazy happened in your life you're like man god what's up like i'm on this side like what's good but it's like like i said before like god never promised that we wouldn't go through stuff he just promised that he'll be with us in it and so i feel like that's what this whole kind of album is about man it's just like god being with me in the storm in the things that i'm going with you know going through you know what i'm saying because everybody going through something, you know what I'm saying? You going through something, like the people that's listening to this interview, they going through something and whether they talk about it or not, it's just like, man, they they need something, you know what I'm saying, to get them through. And we just choose as Christians to go to God. And so I feel like that's the whole concept, man. It's just like, sorry, I changed because I'm going through real life things and I got to I gotta lean to God to, you know what I'm saying, get me through those things and embracing the change because change is good, change is great. Like people always think, like the first thing that I seen in my comments when I signed the label was just like, man, don't let this change you. And I was like, man, when I announce this title, people going to go crazy. <laughs> so it's just like, I think it's, I think it's good to embrace change, man. Like that's why the Bible says old things are passed away. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants us to get rid of those things because we're not perfect. Ultimately, you know what I'm saying? We're not perfect people, but God's perfect. You know what I'm saying? And he's somebody that never changes, but we should be changing each and every day. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the whole thing, man. Like, sorry, I changed. Appreciate you breaking that down for us, too. Um, So what's the release date? When should fans be expecting this? Because we got the singles. We see you going yeah. crazy on social media. When is yeah. it actually dropping? So the album come out April 26th. The pre-order is available now. Pre-save available now. Um, But, yeah, the album come out April 26th, man. It's, it's up. I'm super excited. So, I mean, that really wraps up everything about the project just tell us you know some some encouraging words just closing talk to the fans about yeah. you know like you say your seasons and where you are today talk to the fans about just some encouragement yeah um i think my whole like <clears throat> brandon and the whole like place that i'm in right now is just letting people know to keep going you know what i'm saying like if you paid attention to the, to the rollout and to how I announced the like the signing with Sony and stuff like that. That was kind of like the whole thing of like, and my story is about what happens when you keep going, you know what I'm saying? Because I was the person that people told, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't do it, that I should give up, that I should, you know what I'm saying? Stop doing what I'm doing. I'm everybody know I'm from Bristol, Virginia. Like I'm, I'm from a small town. And so me being able to do the things that I'm doing right now is, man, it's not by luck. It's only by God's grace. And so, <clears throat> I just want to tell everybody listening, man, like no matter what nobody says to you, no matter, you know what I'm saying, how many people say, oh, if it's not working right now, you should stop or you should quit. Like, nah, you got to you got to keep going, because if you feel like this is something that God's called you to do, whatever it may be, if it's your music, if it's your business, if it's your ministry, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it may be, if it's school, you know what I'm saying? You got to you got to keep going. 
no matter what, because the Bible say in due time, he shall reap. So that means it's not going to happen. Sometimes it's not going to happen right now. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not going to happen the first day, the second day, the, you know what I'm saying? The first post, the second post, sometimes it might take a hundred posts for somebody to see what you got going on. So it's like, that's why you got to keep going. And so for me, that's been my story, just brick by brick. You know what I'm saying? Um, just building and grinding and, you know what I'm saying? Having highs, having lows, the whole nine. Um, and so I feel like it's my duty to tell people like, whether you're from a small town, whether you're from a big town, whatever you may come from, whatever, like know that you can, anything is possible with God. And you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep going if you know that God has called you to something. So, yeah. Dope, man. Dope. Um, talk to the fans. I mean, really just tell everybody where they could find you at and where they could find the release and get the yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, you can follow me. I am Aaron Cole, Instagram, Twitter. Um, Facebook, Aaron Cole, YouTube, Aaron Cole, and yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be posting everywhere, man. Like, sorry, I changed season this up. Um, the team is really excited. We kind of just, we just honing in on everything. So yeah, that's everywhere. I am Aaron Cole and Aaron Cole on everything. So dope, man. Appreciate you stopping in, man. There you have it, everybody. Rapzilla, Aaron Cole. Sorry, I changed April 26. Make sure y'all stream that. Make sure y'all support. Salute. Respect. Okay.